So far this year, air spray air tankers attended to about 25 wildfire calls in the Peace region, and they're always ready to assist when needed. This is definitely a, a, a different year being so dry up north. When they get a call from the Ministry of Forestry to attend to a blaze, air tankers, also known as water bombers, fly to a fire and help contain it by dropping fire retardant on it. We'll contact the bird dog in flight and see what the plan is and then go from there with uh, either boxing in the fire or, you know, um, uh, blanket in action kind of thing. Before an air tanker can spring into action, a smaller plane known as the bird dog assesses the situation beforehand so that an air attack officer can tell the tanker where to release the retardant. We start doing our runs at the meantime the tankers are calling in and getting overhead and watching what we're doing. When they're ready to make the drop, the powerful air tankers, which are rated at 4,000 horsepower an engine, releases the retardant with one push of a button. And there's two doors on a, underneath the tank that will open out and uh, it's a constant flow tank so it, they'll actually, whatever you select on the programmer, it will do with the doors to give you the drop. On a typical run, air tankers go at least 100 feet into the air and carry 3,000 gallons worth of fire retardant. However, it's not always easy as there's various obstacles the pilots can endure while attending to a fire. You're always at 100 feet near a big fire that's, you know, quite turbulent and, and hot and can throw you around, makes its own weather sometimes if it's big enough. The planes are a big support for containing fires, but Loeffler says the fire crew on the grounds play a big role in putting out a blaze. We can hit several targets with one load of a tanker like that, um, which is really effective uh, if we can get out there and the calls come in and, oh, okay, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire, we can start hitting them and, and actually blanketing them to hold for a ground crew to get there and actually put it out. If you're ever wondering if the planes are attending to a blaze in an area, listen out for them as they make their presence known. We've got a siren on board to tell people to kind of get out of the way. We're going to drop a load in the next, you know, next run kind of thing. Carissa Wilson, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.